TV is dominated by conservative discourse, but certainly a liberal could take some facts and distort it. In fact, I've heard that Michael Moore in the past has occasionally inflated a little statistic or whatever, so it's instead of 15,000 people out of work, it's 30,000 or whatever. But, you know, in this movie, I just don't see how he really, uh, I couldn't see any points where he was lying or where he could have inflated. I mean, sure, he could have thrown some statistics out that I guess were bullshit, but so much of it uh, is so incontrovertible. And, and really, when you get down to it, who cares about the statistics? When his analysis of the media is so dead on, and the media really is the main, you know, sort of thing in this country that needs to be dealt with. I mean, politicians, you get the sense that they were always fucked up, and they always are sort of trying to serve their own ends and that kind of thing. But the media has now become this sort of super propaganda thing that just so supports so much bullshit. And they've even become this thing that looks sort of exists into themselves to where politicians in some case kind of have to kiss their asses to, to get things done. And uh, it just blows my mind how they can really blow something out of the water and make people so scared about it. And, and really, we're supposed to just... Uh, Oh my god, I mean, I was actually playing mini golf this summer, and I was worried about the fucking West Nile, I mean, I wasn't worried, but I was like, jeez, I hope a mosquito doesn't bite me, because then I'll get the West Nile virus, I'm like, again, the odds were like, like me winning the Powerball, I mean, one out of a billion or something, whatever the fuck it is, that I would get the West Nile virus, but because they hit that, I mean, sure, tell one story about it for once a week, say, oh, guess what, somebody died of West Nile virus, you know. But they were doing it like round the clock kind of shit. Like, oh, we're keeping watch for the next West Nile victim who uh, also got raped by Billy Bob, the gay uh, fucking serial killer. Because <laughs> that happens to everybody. Everybody gets raped by a gay serial killer after they get stung by a mosquito that can weaken them. And that's why they're susceptible to the rape. So anyway. Holly, what do you got to say to this, huh? Talk to me! Talk to me! I'm just kidding. <laughs> we love you. We love Holly. So what else you got for me, Jerry? You got any questions? Got any uh, thoughts? Got any beefs? <laughs> well, I was I was just thinking about uh, about that movie. Um, mm -hmm. Did you notice that? <laughs> yeah. Did you notice that I think um I think like there was a, a South Park cartoon in there. Uh huh. It was like that that South Park cartoon where they were talking about the history of America. Right. It looks like it was animated and, by those guys too. Yeah. It wasn't just like the sense of yeah. It looked like the same. I mean, I don't know how they do that now. Whether they draw everything or they just have computers and do all that shit, but. Well, it looked like the same kind of animation. I don't know if right, it was, right. I assume it was actually from them, yeah, but you know. I'm sure it was because they interviewed, like I said, Trey Parker, whoever it was. It was so. Matt Stone, I think. Or Matt Stone, okay, yeah. Yeah, that was I, good. I wish I'd watch more South Park, but anyway. What were we going to say? Nothing. I was, I was just, uh, I was just wondering, um, <laughs> See, there's not much. That, there's there, the other thing is I was going to talk about that, about that movie is is mostly about. Well, see, he was, he was he was like listing off all these other countries, and he says uh, he lists he lists off what is it like Canada and Japan and and Germany and England or something like that. And there's only about a hundred people that get killed in all these countries by gunfire. Right. And then he gets to America, and he's then it's of course we have like twelve thousand one hundred twenty one people right. per year killed killed in America. And then you start thinking. Well, if there's 300 million people in America, and then there's only, you know, 30 million people in all these other countries, then of course their their totals of the as people are going to be kill, killed by gunfire are going to be divided by 10, you know. So I didn't, so I was I was thinking as like he's trying to make a point, but I don't know if there's a really a point to be made. But the only point that he really made as far as as far as uh, the whole thesis of the movie or whatever is what basically what you just said is that. We, we seem to have this idea that we're afraid for no reason, so then we go bomb all these countries for basically sometimes for no reason. Yeah. Well, and uh, we're going to end up, it's like either either are, we're going to get ourselves in even a lot more trouble than before mm -hmm. with these other countries. Are, are, but the thing about it is I don't think he ever, he, he never really offered any, any um, you know, 
he never really offered any any um, solution. solution to the problem. It's just like, what are we? Hey, well, hey, Mike, what are we supposed to do about it other than like vote Democratic? Are we supposed to, you know, just? Uh, well, the solution for the individual is certainly just to not be afraid. I mean, to not fucking watch the news. And even I myself, I mean, even being as somebody, you know, I consider myself Jerry. In case you didn't know this, I'm an educated bowler. I mean, I'm a bowler, but I've also I've got the fucking PhD, but you don't even need a fucking PhD in it. Whatever, BA would be fine, or BS. Uh, even that, I mean, even good high school education might be okay, but I mean, all you need to know is that, yeah, I mean, you can see that the media, I mean, they, they have this one point where they film a guy who's like talking about, ooh, uh, uh, this fucking community was just uh, scared, uh, they were shocked, and, you know, somebody was killed, blah, 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 and then they cu cut the film, and he's like, hey, is my hair okay? I mean, you know, these fucking media people are just soulless automatons. Yeah, exactly. And, I, 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 yeah, I know. I like, not to know that. I, I, mean, I like that scene, too. Yeah, yeah that was, that was interesting. Yeah, they're just car salesmen, I mean. Yeah. And, you know, the fact, I mean, everybody can see that, and it's sort of one of those things that's in the back of your mind, but still, when you hear fucking shit around the clock, even from people who you think are reputable, like Dan Rather or Peter Jennings, those guys at a certain point, even if they do have a certain ethos or respectability that, you know, Joe Blow on the fucking local news might not have, they're still going to read the stuff that leads. And if it's bullshit, then they'll read bullshit. And so they're going to do the rest of West Nile virus and whatnot. And even, like, an educated person like me, if they hear enough of that shit, is going to be out on the golf course going, uh, gee, I hope a mosquito doesn't bite me. But the thing is, you've got to resist that shit. And that's what I did. I'm like, fuck it, I'm playing mini golf, you know? <laughs> like, what am I going to do? Go inside, I'm going to go back home and spray some shit on me? Who cares? Uh, and you know, the other thing is, like, why are we so, what are we afraid of? I mean, if you're a Christian, you know, this is supposed to be a Christian country. If you're a Christian, you believe when you die, you're going to heaven. So, hey, it's cool, right? You die, go to heaven, pain and bullshit all over. If you're not a Christian, uh, maybe you're maybe you're an atheist and you believe that uh, you just go to nothingness when you die. Again, pain and bullshit all over. So what's the fear? I mean, I guess some people are, you know, they do something, you know, they're, they're sinners or whatever, and they feel like, uh oh, when I die, I'm going to hell. But uh, my question is, you know, are we going to let fear of death and disease and whatnot, are we going to just let it ruin our lives, or are we going to actually get out there and play mini golf? And are we going to go bowling, you know? Bowling. 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 Bowling is the answer. Bowling, yeah. You know, it's funny. I thought it was funny how he, I didn't really think, I thought bowling for Columbine, which by the way is a reference to how these guys uh, that, that killed the people in Columbine, killed the students, they went to their, supposedly they went to their morning bowling class because that, that's their favorite class and they didn't want to miss that. And uh, Moore was kind of making a little joke out of the notion that um, you connect so many, uh, uh, you connect so many things to violence that really don't have, I mean like even video game violence, with, you know, there's a certain logic you think, oh people are playing violent games, that's going to lead to violence. But you look at other countries, they play violent video games, and whatever, it's just no big thing. I mean, I played violent video games as a kid. I didn't turn into some mondo wacko killer or whatever. So he, he talks about bowling in that sense, like, why not blame bowling? Hey, you know, they, they went bowling that morning. Maybe that led to their violent spree. I mean, you got a sport where you're supposed to knock down a bunch of pins. Maybe they thought about knocking down a bunch of students with guns. Yeah! Fucking A. No. No, you really have to do look to what is it in our culture. I mean, you hear so many things about people who uh, go get a gun in the middle of the night. They hear a little creaking board or whatever, and they end up shooting their little nephew or whatever who just came over for a glass of milk. A glass of milk. That's all he wanted. Come on, Jerry. You going to kill your nephew over that? I don't think so. Anyway, fuck it. Well, what do you say, honey? Want to go at it? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, let's do it! <laughs> Woo, I'm worn out. <laughs> Your dog is very worried about you now. I'm worried. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about Dick Clark. Fuck you, Dick Clark. Fuck you! I was just thinking, I was just telling Tim about this, this 
Frank Zappa song that he almost totally forgot about that I reminded him. I don't know what the rest of the story is about this Frank Zappa song, but it's just one of these things where every lyric of the song has the word fuck in it, and it's so that's why it's funny. But to go something like, A mountain is something you don't want to fuck with. Don't, don't want to fuck with. Don't, don't fuck, fuck around. around. Don't, don't fuck around. Don't fuck around. And that's all I remember. Beautiful. I can't really get that high note anymore. Yeah. It's actually, what was that? Oh, the dog was snoring. <laughs>